Hollywood comes to Galway every summer during the Galway Film Fla. Now, in its 20th year, it's back showcasing new and Irish classic and world cinema. Running from the 8th until the 13th of July, film buffs will be in their element during a jam-packed week of movies, interviews and debates. Here we are a year later, now celebrating the 20th Goy Film Fla. This year's festival, bigger and better than ever before, and celebrating the musical this year. That's right, Grania. It's not just the, the musical, rather it's the kind of, the very exciting fusion between music and cinema. So that's articulated in our programme by a selection of classical musicals, like the Hollywood classics, like Singing in the Rain is there, along with more... Uh, European-centred work like um, The Umbrella of Cherbourg, but also uh, we have like concert films that will be taking place in Air Square, just the best of concert films, as they'll be uh, free to the public in Air Square. And uh, we're also looking at, at, at musicals from a pan-national sort of perspective. And in that context, we're having the Bollywood musical as well with Om Shanti Om. For the uninitiated, uh, Om Shanti Om is not only that, but rather it's a loving tribute to the history of uh, Bollywood cinema. So as such, it's a, it's a, and the production values in Om Shanti Om, the choreography, the colour, the dancing, the songs, there's nothing like it. Well, we're very proud to have uh, Alex Gibney come to, to give our masterclass this year. Um, Alex Gibney, uh, for people who might know of him, he won the Oscar this year for Taxi to the Dark Side. Taxi to the Dark Side refers to a comment Dick Cheney made about American administration having to go to the dark side of themselves in order to interrogate subjects, uh, to get crucial information to uh, prevent terrorism. Uh, Alex Kidney is the person in the room who's pointing the finger and asking if the emperor has no clothes. He's the person in the room saying, or asking the question, is this, does this uh, interrogation techniques, does it constitute torture? And uh, which brings about some pretty profound, it's a pretty profound question that brings about some pretty profound answers. On December 1st, 2002, Dilawar, a young Afghan taxi driver, took three passengers for a ride. He never returned home. It's fantastic. We, we, we've always been fans of Jessica Lange and to have her here on the closing night to close the festival, to put an end to our 20th celebrations and uh, for us to screen her latest film, Bonville, is just, uh, it's a great honour, but we'll truly be square-eyed by then. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter O'Toole then, a special tribute to him this year. It's, it's fantastic as well because with Peter O'Toole, we, when we were thinking what films would we show to complement Peter O'Toole's tribute, you know, the knee-jerk reaction is to show Lawrence of Arabia. What's fantastic is that Peter uh, really was very involved in the process of the selection of the films that he wanted to have to complement his tribute. So th these works that we're screening are handpicked by Peter O'Toole. And on Sunday, we're going to have an afternoon on stage with Peter O'Toole. So there'll be his public interview, which will be conducted here in the Town Hall Theatre. And then immediately after that, we'll have a screening of a play, Geoffrey Bernard is Unwell. So this is a, a film of a play, uh, which is it's just going to be an afternoon on stage with Peter O'Toole. So I think that's, that's going to be a treat. Well, great film. We're looking forward to it this year. And tickets are available here at the Town Hall. So I think they're being snapped up. Thanks very much, Grania. <laughs>